Oh, what is that smell? Oh my god, one star! And that star is you! <laughs> Good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click. I have found something absolutely amazing. Oh my god, have you ever read a bad review? And I don't just mean a review that is critical of something, like a one star review that's legitimate. I mean that the review itself is horrible. If you could rate the review, the review would be a one star. That is the kind of reviews we are gonna look into today, baby. Enjoy. And by the way, you do smell amazing, okay? It was a joke. It was a joke, so I could call you a star because you are a you're a nice smelling star. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You're like a wunderbaum you hang in your car, but little, little twinkly star. Enjoy the video. God, I'm. Is charming the right word? Probably not. One stop. Don't go here. The hot dogs smell like farts. The restroom was not fit for Christian butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, yes, this filthy establishment is not worthy of my Jesus encrusted cheeks. <laughs> Scandalous. I don't think I've ever heard anyone refer to their butt as Christian before. That is, uh, that is something. Trey, one review, one star. The chicken fried steak gave me hepatitis. <laughs> Probably won't be going back for at least a couple of weeks. What are you talking about? Ah, oh, gee, this burger gave me AIDS. I am not coming back here uh, until next week. What are you? Just what? Como Park Sue. 4.6 stars. One star review. Viewing the gorilla saddens me. They have way better living conditions than I do. Oh my god. That is so sad. Oh my god. Don't drink and buy. One star. Beds should look like beds. I ordered this when I was drunk because I thought it was a giant ice cream sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who ordered ice cream? you order an ice cream sandwich off of Amazon? And also, like, wouldn't you be kind of sussed out when it's like, oh, I'm gonna buy this ice cream sandwich for 300 bucks. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Elaine, two stars. Our waitress was unattentive. My food was overcooked and burnt. I will not go back again. Sounds atrocious. Let's see what the owner has to reply to this. Response from owner. This is a auto repair shop. We do not serve food. <laughs> what? Did he even review the right place? I swear to God, you should be able to place reviews on reviews. That would be absolutely amazing. I think that would fix so many of the problems in our world. Ariana, five stars. Excellent food. Clara, one star. I, I have never been at that restaurant. Here, have a selfie. <laughs> what do you mean? But you're not supposed to like, rate it, Clara, if you haven't been to it, Clara. What the f***, Clara? One star. My frozen coke looked like sloppy poo. And the... <laughs> what do you mean, sloppy poo? My frozen coke looked like sl sl <laughs> sloppy poo. I'm sweating, man. My frozen coke looked like sloppy poo. And they didn't let me order 1,000 McFlurries on the tablet screen. The best part of the facility is the clown hiding in the back of the playground. Who always offers me the children lollies and V-Bucks? This isn't real life. I died and went to hell. And like, <laughs> thinking Ronald McDonald tricking the children with this white man. Oh, I'm crying and sweating. My eyes are sweating. Four stars. My kids have attended the school for three years and we love it here. I have found the majority of teachers are excellent. One star. My son was karate chopped in the throat by a Naruto wannabe. <laughs> it's, a, it's like one of those anime schools. Great. Bitcoin. Ratings and reviews. This may help you decide if it's worth proceeding. I am not sure how to claim the Bitcoin that accumulated in our profiles, nor have I read the review or article that states you can claim or how to claim the Bitcoin that you generate. My conclusion is that we are using our data to mine for the company that created this app, and they will be the ones reaping the rewards. Blah, blah, blah. It's so bad. Oh my god. But if you look into it, it's Bitcoin the game. So it's basically like playing YouTube simulator and be upset that you didn't earn any, like, actual ad revenue. <laughs> Fam, you're... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> One star. False advertisement. Purchased the Samsung 8 series. After unpacking, I found the 50 inch I purchased was actually 44 inch. How is that? The box is only 49 inch. There's no way the phone protection the TV could be 50 inch. See pictures and video. This is a scam. Look at me measuring this TV. 642 people found this helpful. Dear sir, you do realize that a TV is measured 
on the diagonal. You didn't even measure the right distance and you're complaining it's too small. Police, what is the inch of your brain? Very small. I can just imagine being like a store rep having to deal with this review. Like, I want to return this TV because it's too tiny. It's like, sir, you didn't measure it correctly. <laughs> Lily, one star. I have been a professional medium for 15 and a half years, and I am very sensitive to all the energy forces that surround us. The instructors are great and the facility is clean, but when I walked into the studio, I was assaulted by the dark energy radiating from Monica at the front desk. Screw you, Monica, and your dark demonic auras. I was here for a relaxing week and everything else is clean. I hate dark auras. This review is, um... Yeah, it's out there. <laughs> Maybe she just means that Monica has a bad vibe. Is that what it is? Just bad, bad vibes? Shauna, one star. Eh, anyone know how much rent is for a room for a one bedroom? Shauna, this is how much it costs. Also, why did you leave a one star review for a simple question? Can you fix that? No, that is so bad. You just used to... No, don't do that. Pixar Marble and Tile Shampoo, an odd P, five stars. Don't apply on hair. I washed my hair with it. I am losing hair. My girlfriend Ria left me for my hair. I became sad, washed floor with it. Now my floor is clean and smells better than Ria. <laughs> 34 people found this helpful. Well, to be fair, it does say Marble and Tile Shampoo. I would assume that's a little bit too strong and slightly the wrong ingredients to use, like, you know, on your scalp. This rings like a satire review, but it's very funny, and I will, haha, <laughs> add it. Ah, look, there's water and lakes. Two thumbs up. Ugh, one star was very lake, but could be lakier. Most of the lake part was just water. What do you mean? What do you mean lakier? Is is it the water the lakey part? Is, is, is the water different from the lakey? What does lakier mean? What do you, what, what do you mean? What, what should it be? What the hell? One star, she couldn't customize to what we wanted to. <laughs> Feel totally rejected. Look elsewhere. I am so sorry. You do not understand that I would be very uncomfortable performing your wedding ceremony while you and your guests are completely nude. I do not deserve your negative review. I feel like, uh, you know, if that's the wedding you want to have and everyone is in on it, go for it. But, like, you also can't force anyone to be okay with it. Come on, now. One star. The cashier didn't have a smile on her face. <laughs> you should smile more, especially because of my shopping experience. Like this reviewer probably never smiles and treats everyone like trash. <gasps> oh, yes, indeed. Tiffany, one star. Horrid didn't show up. Ah, my first one-star review. I have been waiting eight months for this. Well, Tiffany, I did in fact show up and did in fact diagnose your Dodge Caravan with your husband beside me. It needs a starter. You knew I was there because you texted me and told me how you were unhappy with your husband and how I was smexy AF. So I proceeded to be a good person and showed your husband the text messages. And now you're mad, so you left me a one-star review. Well, Tiffany, I am giving you a one-star review on being a wife. God bless. <laughs> You tried to, like, hook up with with the worker in the store while your husband was beside you. And, you, and you're, like, <laughs> you're angry that people don't put up with your sh**. <laughs> so you get places as a one-star review. Nice. Honestly, I feel like people who make, you know, accounts for leaving reviews, you should be able to review them back. You know, here is one that just leaves one-star reviews on everything because they themselves are unpleasant. So, of course, the store won't treat them right. You know, they're just acting in, well, basically self-defense, I assume. So, this reviewer has a one-star as a reviewer, you know, so, you know, to make take the reviews with a grain of salt. I think that would be a good idea. That, that sounds like a great idea. Matt, one star. This water park is a joke. Good thing the location is permanently closed, temporarily closed, according to Google. I have never been there. Everything is turned off and won't be turned back on. Aquatica San Diego ceased to exist as a water park and all but name. What a joke. Wait, you haven't been there, but you're like upset that when you're randomly Googling a place that it says that it's closed and you start ranting in the reviews. Am I understanding this correctly? <laughs> Man, you need a hobby. Blue Mall in Restaurant. Reviews. Four stars. Great for lunch and dinner. Pianist place at dinner. Great view at lunchtime, but no view at dinner. As too dark, so I only give it four stars, you know? They don't control the sun at this restaurant. It's disgusting. One star? Yes, I know I said one star. I do not like the color yellow, so always leave one star so that's just less of it on my screen. This is a positive review, not a bad review. I am writing one star to prevent yellow. Thank you! <laughs> You, sir, are absolutely nuts. What the hell? 
if that is a big thing, I think you could even like, you know, just hue shift your screen or something like that to make them like blue or whatever. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna make other people and local business suffer because I have a really weird, strong hatred against the color yellow. Screw them, stars. One star. Your employees are lazy. Your salads were disgusting. I would probably also be concerned if my salads were conspiring against me. That sounds absolutely horrifying. I agree with this review. Alban, one star. Good. It does the job. The only reason I put a star is because Amazon will delete it if I put five stars. <laughs> What, they will think you're a bot? Like one of those scam products that just bought the reviews? I've fallen for that a couple of times. I bought a chart. No, I bought an adapter for my phone because I use those little lav mics when I'm out and recording in the woods. So I bought like a three pack of adapters from Amazon or something like that for like 10 bucks, cheap and stuff. And then they come and none of them work. None of them work. And I go to the product and realize that, oh no, all the reviews are bots. They didn't even work. It was amazing. I mean, I never bothered doing anything. It was a 10 bucks, but still, it was just like, ugh. Oh, it's so frustrating. I have to buy another one. Ugh. And I don't think I realized they were botched until I was already out in the woods. So I was like driven all the way out into the forest, set up all my recording. I'm like, wait a second. Now the cables work. And I even brought all of them to have backups. And all of them were defunct. God. Microsoft Xbox wireless controller plus wireless adapter for Windows 10. <laughs> Two stars. Not so wireless. Sad emoji. This controller is not wireless unless you feed it batteries. Ugh. Once your batteries run out of juice, the controller will not work unless you connect a cord to it. So essentially not wireless. W wait, so you, you think that something can't be wireless because it needs electricity to function. You realize the wireless part is like the, the connector to the TV, right? <laughs> what kind of review is this? I am outraged my TV isn't wirelessly charging my controller from across the room while I'm playing. Disgusting lack of technology. Half-Life, not recommended. Copied Half-Life. One star, very bad quality, non-expensive with garbage taste. They don't even know how to make pink tea. Oh, I am very disappointed. Response from the owner. Thanks. We appreciate you our feedback. Gone do we've been closed for over a month, so we don't know where you got your nod from. I swear to God, some people should have to take like a driver's license before they're allowed on the internet. If you can't even tell which restaurant you're rating, you shouldn't be allowed to leave one star reviews. <laughs> God damn it. Blorp, I have ordered four months ago, but never come till now. Still didn't get delivery yet. Hello, I believe you have mistaken us with another company. We just opened one month ago. Please check your invoice for the company name. Thank you. My hope for humanity is gradually decreasing. What a treat. Two stars. I have an event to go to in April at the park. I was just going to rent a cabin for the night, but unfortunately I was late booking, so no one left. Does anyone know of a good hotel that's around? Thanks in advance. Scratching my head as to why the fact we were sold out results in a two-star rating. <laughs> How dare they not preserve something for me, even though I never called them. Oh, disgusting. I am the center of the universe. Everything revolves around me. Allow me to demonstrate. Revolve, revolve, revolve. You see, you're stuck in my revolving, what's it even called? Like the orbit? Yeah, the orbit. That's great. Amazon customer, one star. Lock your tablet. I did not order this game. My five-year did. Why are you leaving a one-star review for this? Oh my god. I let my kids run absolutely amok. One star. Amazon Prime. Okay, here's a little phone with like, uh, please remove the safety, like plastic and stuff on the phone. Makes sense. One star. Disappointed. Why does this case have removed protective film written all over? Disappointed. Oh my god. It's almost like you have to remove the protective film to use. God, I am so upset. You do realize that they have written remove this protective film maybe because you're supposed to, I don't know, remove the protective film. Oh my god, a mystery, I know, right? Amory University, one star. My sister goes here and she dumb. <laughs> helpful for, for people for this review, helpful. My poor sister, oh my god. I don't like this school because my sibling went here and he dumb, so, so the school sucks. Oh, disgusting. Five stars. The food is great and so is the customer service. Can't really ask for much more. <laughs> Local guide, one star. <laughs> I have never been there. Here are some random pictures of me driving. Great, Kevin. Thank you.
Next. Ratings and reviews. No sound, three stars. I cannot get the sound on the game. Please try to adjust the volume button on the side of iPad or iPhone. You see, that's what I'm saying. Some people need a driver's license to go online. I am gonna rate your app one star because I don't know how phones work. I remember I had a friend back in the day who used to work in tech support, and they said the most common cause for most technical issues, I think they called it, well, in Swedish, it was something like SVS, which stood for skit vid spakarna, <laughs> which basically, which basically translates to shit behind the controls, which means like the person operating the thing is just stupid. <laughs> And I was so confused the first time they said, like, what do you mean behind the controls? Like, yeah, you know, usually a technical issue is, is the person. Like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. I, I can see that. Two star, culturally diverse, probably has high crime rates. Uh, we do not have crime at the park. Oh, but I see that it must be crime. I saw some people with them different skin colors in them parks. That means cream. I am... Not racist at all. David, one star. Didn't actually go in, just walked past. Why do you bother sharing? David, this isn't Twitter. This is a review thing. I mean, when you are on it, it, it turns into an equally insufferable cesspool. But like, god damn it. Top reviews from other countries. Amazon customer, one star. Missing letter. Absolutely got it. I've just sat and blown up all the letters and find that the D is missing, but been replaced with an extra A. It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow and I won't be able to decorate as planned. Not happy at all. Three people found this helpful. Let's see. Happy. No, that's a backwards D. Um, happy birthday. Okay. Yeah, so you, it's, it's supposed to be an A up there. You know, all the letters are caps. So just put the A up in happy instead of the D. And there you go. It is so easy. It is so easy, but yet so hard. And people found this review helpful. Jesus Christ, humanity's fucked. Herbie, one star. Book bound on the right side instead of the left side. Kind of hard to read the book when the first page is the last page. <laughs> you mean that you bought a manga? <laughs> Is that what this review is? How dare manga be backwards? Disgusting. One star. There were so many Australians there. I feel like I was in Australia. So apparently the Sydney Opera House isn't in Australia. Wow. <laughs> You're upset that there are Australian people in Australia? That's the one star review. Jesus Christ. I must say though, reading these reviews makes me feel like in comparison, really smart. And I haven't even done anything. This is amazing. Share the meal, charity donate. Ad, one star. I love what you're doing, but your ad is annoying in your plans before literally every single one of my YouTube videos. If I see you in your ad, please spell ad right. One more time, I will actively take steps to increase global hunger. Please stop. What do you mean, because the charity has ads? <laughs> Dear God. Nicholas, three stars. I am sure Starbucks is great. However, I don't go, nor have I ever, but it keeps popping up, so I guess I'll review it. I will give it a three star, because I figure three is a mutual, and since I've been, it have never been, it's fair. I give this place a neutral rating because I've never been there. You know, Nicholas, there's, there's just this wild concept where you simply don't review something you haven't used. That's like the most neutral rating, you know? Yeah. Golf club, three stars. Hank, the guy that works there, said this. If you don't get a hole in one, which is okay, I also misspelled, you have to suck pee pee. For girls, it must suck on pee pee. I did get a hole in one, but my friend didn't, and he had to get Hank special. This feels like a review that was written by like two 12 year old friends that's just sitting with their phone and laughing, basically prank calling reviews. <laughs> yeah, bro, tell them that it's pee pees and stuff. <laughs> Man, that, that brings me back. Wow. Edit web page app. A nod, Van Star. Jay, when I edited iPhone X price at one rupee, I did not get it. One rupee. Can help me with it? Uh, this app is for testing and debugging purposes. The changes you made are stored on your phone and not on the server side. Wait, did you literally try to essentially do the equivalent of F12 inspect element and change a number in your browser? and think that that would like change its server side and you can just do that on Amazon products and like buy them for nothing? <laughs> I'm an elite hacker. Boys, I'm in. Spotify stations. Do not download. One star. My son had this and he died one month later. There's that thing with like causation and correlation, I suppose. This reminds me of all those anti-vaxxer posts that were like, Oh my god, my son had the vaccine and he died the next week. And someone comes in and be like, Stacy, your son got hit by a truck. God. Oh my god, it's because the vaccine made him magnetic. 
<laughs> local guide. One star. Never been there, so I can't rate it. What do you mean, local guide? God, you suck. Logan learned. One star. Everything and everyone here was amazing. Definitely worth six stars even. But I took off some because they didn't have a t-shirt with a pig on it that said Pork City, Utah. Wait a second. You took it from a six star review all the way down to a one star. You removed five stars from a six star review because they didn't have a very specific shirt, although everything else was amazing. What are you talking about? Hi, Logan. This is the owner. This one star review really affects our small family business. My manager has goals for customer service and this really upset her. Google is used a lot. I'm sorry we didn't have the exact shirt you wanted, but if you really didn't have a terrible time shopping here, a change in stars or deleting this would honestly be so appreciated. We are all working really hard to be sure people have a good experience. Thank you kindly, Logan. <sighs> God damn it, Logan. God damn it. Verified purchase. These are pretty cool and very handy. Terrible! I absolutely love this product. I was very surprised at the poor quality of the product. The best bargain for the money. Nothing great. Well packaged, one star. What do you mean you have said like, <laughs> like 15 contradicting things in this review? This was great apart from the fact that it sucked, but I really loved it even though it was terrible. The packaging was great. Apart from that, it fell apart. It was so good. Do these people read the reviews before sending them? This is like so incoherent. <laughs> Dead, man. Most helpful reviews in the past 90 days. Glushkin Glurgen Glurgen, not recommended. My parents beat me. What? Daniel Mason, two stars. I've never visited a place, but I wonder if the food is really good because most of the customers are Mexican descent, and most places like this have their own customers and they tend to cheat any others. You gave a place you haven't been to? A low rating because you have weird conspiracies against specifically Mexicans. Man, the average human really is disappointing, isn't it? Well, you know it's a good review when it's both incoherent and racist. <laughs> nice. Worst game ever! One star! This is so boring, I can't even control the Briax! Uh, on a game called Faily Brakes, where you drive a car with no brakes. Ah, this game called No Brakes on Your Car sucks because there are no brakes on the car. Disgusting. There, there is this thing with like, you know, target audience or like looking for things that you're interested in or not getting the things you're not into. Ah! Local guide. Is it just me or does it seem like all local guides are just awful? Uh, two stars. Too expensive for what is offered. Our visit resulted in a trip to the doctor's office. Limited staff, limited parental supervision. Response from the owner. Our monitors are actually very well trained and we make sure that we are very well staffed at all times. As for parental supervision, that would actually be you. As a parent. <laughs> what do you think? You think the place just provides extra parents? Oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry about your kid, Timmy. We have an extra parent here to, to take over the parental thing because obviously you're incompetent. <laughs> How dare this place not have parental supervision? What? Three stars, verified purchase. The bag was heavy. I gave it three stars because when I put things in it, it became heavy. Two people found this helpful. Oh, my God. I'm like the Einstein of my generation. I bought a bag. And when I put heavy stuff in it, the bag also becomes heavy. F***ing mind-blowing concept, isn't it, Courtney? So f*** I go go! But I leave a bad review, Courtney! Sorry, I'm getting, uh, some kind of aneurysm. One star, no Loch Ness Monster. What a disappointment! We traveled 400 miles from Grimsby to see the Loch Ness Monster and it didn't even show up! Don't go if you're wanting to see it because it will end up bitterly disappointed like we were. Wife and two kids waited around for hours! Viewpoints were crowded and dirty and the weather was terrible! One moment sunshine, the next was hard to keep up! I thought the whole experience was horrendous. I wish I hadn't bothered. This is a tourist trap and not sure why they would advertise the Loch Ness Monster when it's on a lie! There's much better places in Scotland. I won't be coming back. Screw you, Loch Ness Monster. Dare you ruin my family vacation by not showing up. You totally real thing. Frick. Next time, she's gonna go to the North Pole and be upset that Santa isn't there. Wee. One star. We came here after church. We walked in and forgot our masks. We have all done that. We're frustrated at having to go back and get them. My boyfriend said some words to me out of frustration. We were walked back in. The waitress refused to serve up. We will not be going back. I mean, the, the small detail that you say, like, my boyfriend just said some random words to me, but you won't specify what it is, leads me to believe that what he said was actually quite uh, very horrendous, and that's why they didn't want to serve you. Oh, god darn them slurry slurries and stupid and odd sheep anti-vaxxers, blah blah blah. Yeah, no, I can fill in the blanks, I think, I'm pretty certain, and uh, no. Question, what country is this product made in? Thanks. 
answer? Question marks from Andrea. But Andrea, if you don't know, why are you answering the question? Question, are these made in the USA? Huh? Question marks, also from Andrea. <laughs> Question. My inseam is 36 inches, waist is 38. What size do you need? Andrea, I don't know. What are you? Andrea, no one is asking you specifically. You answer if you happen to know it's a public front. Dear fr oh. Ah. This feels like those Reddit threads where it's always like, oh, police officers that are on duty. What's the wildest experience you've ever had? And all the comments are like, not actually a police officer here, but I saw on TV once. One star. The game itself is great. I played it for a long time ago, but today I downloaded it and it says my storage is insufficient. But I know that my storage has a lot of space, so please fix it. It's the game's fault. I'm not gonna double check my storage because I obviously know that it's fine, but it's probably not. But it's a game. It's it's. I mean, this kind of stuff makes me feel better about being a YouTuber because even though I don't produce apps or products or run a restaurant and that kind of stuff, you do get reviews like this as a creator as well, and it makes me comfortable to see that it's not the only place in the world where this happens, and I can dismiss a lot of it, because, dear God. Patrick, one star. I didn't really go to this place, I went to the place next to it, the CBD store. <laughs> I'm gonna rate this neighboring store one star, because I didn't go to it. <laughs> Stupid store. Two stars. Agree. Super average ice rink. First of all, it's very cold because the heaters don't work. What do, what do you mean? You're looking for a warm ice rink? My dear god, what do you- <laughs> ah -ha. Hello, I am looking for a tropical ski resort with lots of palm trees and shit. Is that- that's it there. Everything else sucks. There has to- My brain is amazing. Rated one star. Too many Italian names and places. Ah, I see. You think there are too many Italian places? You just go and rate Italian places a one star? Just doing your part? to make the restaurant ecosystem healthy. Ooh, what, what a champion. Delicious wings! I haven't tried them yet, but <laughs> delicious. One star. <laughs> Wait, this is so incoherent. Hold on. It's delicious, but you haven't tried it, and then you give it one star. What, what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> one star. Must have simply walked past this place, never been in. I believe it's a food bank. Please feel free to drop some food there if you have extra. Let's share. Help one another because it looks like the government has practically given up on helping the poor in England. One star. You could starve by the time you find a food bank. It's terrible and sad. So I'm gonna rate the only food bank I found one star? Oh my god, you absolute troglodyte. Sender Gmail. One star. Run by immigrants. You're not even trying to hide your racism besides some some other excuse, no? It's, it's just it's straight up like, Ah, oh, this place is run by minorities. Disgusting. Uh, they're stealing our jobs. And also having welfare, both at the same time. Ah. Oh. Rob. One star. Critical. Professionalism. Very unprofessional. Do yourself a favor and go elsewhere. Response from the owner. Rob, you have never been here. I do, however, remember you from my previous clinic, where you harassed me for asking you to wear a mask, the rules of the business at the time last October, including screaming cuss words in my face in the lobby. I am absolutely thrilled that you haven't come to my new clinic, as you are absolutely not welcome here. We have incredible clients of so mutual respect not only for me as their doctor, but my staff as well. Bad behavior like yours is not tolerated, nor should it be. Good riddance, the trash took itself out. You're like stalking someone on Google reviews, leaving them bad reviews at their next place of employment because they wouldn't put up with your BS at the last job when you were literally verbally abusive. <laughs> yeah, it seems to add into the character, doesn't it? Basketball court. One star, not close enough to my home. <laughs> you just searched up a place that just isn't in your area and be like, nah, it's too, why isn't everything around where I live? Oh, disgusting. One star. Lady, if this was the logic everyone applied to everything, every single place and every single thing ever would have one stars. It's like, meh. This logic destroys the whole review system. One star. I ordered two plates and just left my friend without order. Next day, I stopped by to pick up my order and they just started to laugh at me. Customer service is awful. Never, ever I will step in that place again. Not recommending this place. Falafel Corner. Owner. Hi. Hope you're doing great. Just for information, if you order something, you have to pick it up the same day. You can't come another day and ask for your food. Your order food on Wednesday night. Food was ready on the same day, and now you come for picking up on Friday? Sorry, we don't hold food for three days. <laughs> what? You order takeout 
for Wednesday? And how are they supposed to magically hold it until Friday? What do you mean? This is so weird. This tablet is very well packed in the box. It comes with charging cable. This tablet has excellent sound quality. It supports the touch control. The screen is very smooth. It has long battery life. It's best for playing games and watching movies. The size is big enough to watch movies. It looks awesome. <sighs> Worst tablet. One star. <laughs> I would say that maybe they got confused by the star system, that like one out of five is like, oh, it's the top one, it's the best one, you know, num numero uno. But they also had the title Worst Tablet. That makes me even more confused. No, one star. Black Cop, solar panels, uh, windmills, what's next? Picture of Greta Thunberg or Joe Biden? This is Subway Surfers. <laughs> you just... You're just, like, making up stuff to be upset about, aren't you? Well, isn't that adorable? Kathy, five stars. Perfect for the heartbreakers. Super cute, not sure what it is. My son wanted it for his girlfriend for Valentine's Day. She said she loved it, but dumped him a week later. So be careful with your purchase. Eleven people found this helpful. <laughs> I bought this product. It was great, but my, but my son got dumped. So be careful, because that's... Probably why. At least they didn't give it a one-star review, so like, that's- that's good. It's just a weird anecdote. Sun lost car, one star. Still new, never used, can't get them to take back. It was for Sun's birthday, but he lost car. She rated the subwoofer one star because her son lost his car. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this product for this other thing I have. I lost that thing, and now I can't use it. One star, garbage product. A question, does this attract pet hair? Answer, I don't have a pet, Lou. Then why in the flying f clue did you reply to the question? I'm losing my mind. <gasps> P, five stars, bad. Was this review helpful? No. Look at these things, Aryan betrayal. Ugh. I thought it were butt plugs. <laughs> Sadly, they are ear studs. Nothing more to write, just writing because of word limits. <laughs> Oh, that just seals the deal. That is beautiful. How dare this be so small? They don't fit in my, in my butt. Ah. This is an interesting review. It's it's definitely up there. <laughs> Amazon customer, one star. B go. <laughs> Were you trying to say good? But it's still just a one star. What do you... No. Three stars. The necklace is nice, but I have depression, so nothing makes me happy. I guess I like the necklace, but I can't look myself in the mirror without crying or feeling disgusted, so it's hard to accurately give a review. Anyways, have a nice day. This feels a little oversharing for, like, a necklace review. No? Crazy boo! Two stars. Carrots have way too much sugar, so replace them with shredded kale. <laughs> Cake turned out rather nasty, so two stars! I'm sure what went wrong, but it's also dry. Oh gee, what could have gone wrong? That you used frickin' kale instead of carrots in your carrot cake? Maybe, Chrissy Boo? That's what went wrong? No? Brand response. We would definitely recommend preparing this recipe as written, as the carrots provide much needed texture and moisture. You reviewed a recipe negatively that you didn't even follow. Who the f*** wants to eat a kale cake? Are you kidding me, Chrissy? What the shit? <sighs> One star? Try to plug this into my computer and it didn't do anything. Try to plug it into my computer and it didn't do anything. But the game in my disk drive, nah, it didn't show up. Amazon customer support said it's for PS4, but I think that's not true. I think it's for me. <laughs> what? You bought a game for the wrong console? And you're like upset it doesn't work and even when support tells you no you got the wrong console for the game you still won't believe them and be like no it's for me me don't buy for children's one star i download the game for four-year-old son because he says his friend play game he showed me game and a green monster blow up he scream and scream this game violent it even has bow and arrow is this is this minecraft an explosion. No, 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 no. Game in. Appropriate. You get poison in this game. Inappropriate. I tell parents of sons, uh, friends. Yo, delete. Don't do one loud. Okay, well, I guess it's Minecraft, but, but I mean, yeah, four years old sounds young to be game. Oh, God, I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> nice. Or just put it on peaceful mode. That's pretty chill, yo. Lily the German von einem Jahr. Beautiful, but the water was too wet, and I dropped my lunch in the pool below it. Oberseitung ansehen! Hilfreich! 
I have lost my mind. No! One star. If devices aren't allowed in schools, then schools shouldn't be allowed in devices. I deleted Google Classroom and my assignments are all gone. Try this trick. Is this, is this the modern version of the dog ate my homework? I think it might be. Oh, this review is framed. That is beautiful. One star. Looked okay from outside. Too many local unknown beers to choose from once inside, though. No Stella, Cronenberg, etc. or any popular global beer. We stayed for one pint and left to a proper pub that has well-known beers. Bit of a hippie trend crowd, too, which wasn't impressive. Also, barman far too enthusiastic and excited about selection of beers. One star. Pub had too many options, and my brain no likey. Bad choice. Two stars. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> what? Top critical reviews. Ivan. Three star. Review. Review. <laughs> One person found this helpful. Oh, you poor soul. Reviews, one star. I wish there was a way to leave a one star review. I mean, I might, I know this might be flabbergasting news, but you did it. Woo! Attaboy. Tecum Smash Dog Park. Local guide, <laughs> two stars. Too many dogs, I am scared of dogs. What is it with these local guides? They all seem completely unhinged. I went to a dog park, but I'm scared of dogs, so one star. You, m you know, if you're scared of dogs, there's an easy trick to know that it's not the place for you. The fact that it has, like, dog park in the title. No? Okay. Five stars! I learned that Lincoln was the first dictator of America. He was no different than Adolf Schickelgruber, aka Adolf Hitler. He was like many liberals of today, ate up with his imagined importance. Is this- is this a book for- review- review for a book? What- what did you read? One star! There better be stall doors and wall dividers. I'm not trying to see someone's tiny penis. Uh, we try our best to provide security and establish a safe space for everyone on campus. This is a review of a school. Someone is writing like, oh, you better have doors on them bathrooms. I, I think, yeah, they probably do. This game is horrible. It is a horrible, very, very a horrible. My daughter Amelia wanted to download it, the game on her iPhone, and she asked, it said, sure, my child, but alas, when I returned, she was, had been, uh, the died. This game is a very cursed and is bad and will haunt, ruin, and brain. This is game, five stars. How many of the people writing this have smoked something very questionable, like smoking glue? Walmart Supercenter, one star. Son of a mother bitch! My kid broke my fucking laptop and it's ruined! Warning, bad language. <laughs> what does this have to do with Walmart? <laughs> Penis Fricker 69, one star. I hated it. It made my pee pee so hard, and I am in church, so tat not good. I'ma play Roblox right now. Bye, Pussies. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed. Glorious free speech. Without it, we couldn't listen to what Penis Fricker 69 had to say. Ah, oh, humanity at its best. Phyllis, looks great. One star. <laughs> Discord. One star. When logged out and logged back in, I forgot my password. So I tried to make a new act and use the same email and it said email already used. Why? Why, you idiots? Why would you do that? Ah. You're upset at the company because you forgot your password. And instead of clicking on, you know, I forgot my password, send a code to my email. You just try to make another account with the same email. Yeah, no, I don't think this is the company's fault that your brain is like scarlet rotted. Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you learned something amazing from this video. I'm not exactly sure what that will be, but share in the comments what you learned in this video, apart from just losing hope in humanity. Anyway, I hope to see you in the very next video, you beautiful beans, and have an amazing rest of your day because you do deserve it. Bye-bye.